Welcome back to Eugene. Next event on the track, the women's 1500 meters. There's the collegiate record and the NCAA meet records. Ann Kesselring from Oregon. The first time she's run the 1500 meters at the national level. Very pivotal race for the Ducks. It certainly is. A lot of pressure on her shoulder. She has a host of women in this field. And they are within two seconds of each other and her time. She's run 413 plus for the uh, 1500 meters this event. But so having a whole host of these ladies, it's going to take a terrific yeah, performance by her to get six or eight points, I think. Right? Oregon has two entries, 12 athletes in this final. Also, Becca Friday of Oregon. They're hoping that both of them will score. To keep Oregon's hopes alive, a lot of things have got to go right for the Ducks to get that title. This is Amanda Winslow, a tough competitor, a senior, a 4 10 1500 meter runner. You're not familiar with that distance. And you know the mile, uh, a good 19 to 20 seconds, and that's her mile time. So she's right around 430. Um, and she, if she can run from the front and she'll push the pace. Most athletes don't have a chance to win early in the race, in my opinion, in a, in a competitive field when you lead from the gun. She might have that chance. And Kessel Ring talked to us about in the semi, just staying in the top five automatic qualifiers to get through, expending as little energy as she possibly can. She did that successfully. She finds herself on the rail, as she did on Thursday's qualifying. It's okay now, but it could be problematic later in the race. A little slow, setting up for a potential kicker's race. 69 seconds for the first 100 meters. We're looking at about a 438 mile pace when you do the adjustment metrically. So, you know, she's not really burning the pace here, running hard from the front. This plays into the hands of the woman wearing pick number 11, Pollution, and Natalia Pollution from Oklahoma State. She's got two minute, two second, 800 meter speed, among others in this field. It's Amanda Winslow of Florida State who continues to lead. And right there is Corey McGee on the right on the floor of the junior moving into second. Houlihan of Arizona State and third Kessel went back in fifth, but well in contact. Two laps to go from that point, and they're coming up to the 800 meters. Nothing much has changed. Run three laps and then race. This is what it looks like this event's going to turn into here. Pace quickening just ever so slightly now. 217 plus for the 800 meter mark. And Winslow continues to lead. You can see from Arizona State. That is Houlihan. Shelby Houlihan, the sophomore. And now they're bunching up a little bit. Which means the pace must have gone ever so slightly. Houlihan in second is the Pac-12 champion. Just a sophomore. Big star in high school in Iowa. She ran 4.33 for the mile. Excellent time. Everybody jockeying for position for the last lap. Russell Ring is dangerous to push that court most of the race, and her teammate Becca Friday is pulling up the rear. And everybody's still in contention. And for Utah, there was Amanda Meredith, who is also making the move on the outside, but she just stays there on the inside of lane two. Here comes the left. And a clear nine plus with a lap to go. And Corey McGee moves up to try and get clear of that pack and stay out of trouble because she doesn't get boxed. Oregon's Becca Friday starting to move up as well. No move from Kesselring, however, as Corey McGee gets in position right behind Winslow. Perfect positioning to make the move when it comes to doing that. Keeping Amanda Merger in Utah, Utah is in third. 1,200 meters, which in three minutes and 25 seconds. Here it goes. Corey McGee trying to make her strike for victory with 200 to go. Pollution are trapped on the inside. Looks like he's fall back to try and get away from everybody and maybe cut outside. Kesselring gets out of that box, but Pollution is in it. Corey McGee, did she move too early? On the outside from Notre Dame. Rebecca Tracy is also there. Corey McGee has got the field, but does she have enough? They've got the tail and now. And Kesselring is going to score, but can she make it up? Here comes Pollution, just like she did in her semi-final. Natalia Pollution gets out of that box, wins it. McGee second, Mary third. And we'll have to sort out the two Oregon runners. It looks like they both scored. Four minutes, 13.25 seconds. Wow, what an interesting discussion it would be with Pollution. She was in a boatload of trouble with about 200 meters to go. Badly boxed, it looked like she almost tripped on the curve. 
Wow, this this is one of the worst boxes and situations I have ever seen at a conference or a championship event. Watch the woman to the right of the screen wearing the burnt orange of Oklahoma State. She has six runners to try and figure out how to get around. Don't trip anybody. Don't fall yourself. Look at her try and wedge by on the inside. And look at how far she had to cut. She's looking for an opening. Desperately looking. Look at her even move her gait and, and her countenance and stride to get free and then make the run for home. Wow, that was a wow. Put herself in a tough position. She's got a title. Well, in, in that crash of finishing, it turns out Oregon with no points. They got 11th and 12th. Pollution of wins it over Corey McGee and Amanda Meredith. Let's go down to Lewis. Thank you, Dwight. Well, Natalia, how did the slow pace early on affect you, and how did you get out of that box? Um, you know, I like it. I'm, I'm happy that the pace wasn't as quick in the beginning. Good. I don't know, something was missing those first few laps, and it was kind of, I didn't feel as great. Just like, I should feel way better, like, running at that pace, but... And then, I think with, like, 300 to go, I was surrounded by so many girls, tried to pass on the inside, couldn't. Went on the outside, back on the inside, and at that point, I thought I lost it. I was, I think, fifth or sixth coming that home stretch, and I was like, damn, it was, like, so much work, so... So many good races, so many good workouts, and now I'm running by fifth or sixth, and somehow I just found the texture gear. I wanted it so bad that... Uh, I guess. And it was a very nice close. Congratulations to you. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, Dwight. All right, Lewis. Well, all it trying to sort everything out in the top five. Missed the fact that the Oregon Ducks had drifted back to get the last two places. No points for the Lady Ducks.